for that introduction. So I volunteer at the Cancer Legal Resource Center. It's located at Little Law School, so hopefully I'll be able to answer your questions. Um, so I wanted to go over um, laws that kind of pertain to you, um, and then talk about resume and job interviews. So I want to actually, there's a handout in your packet. It's called Going Back to Work After Cancer, and you might be able to follow along. I'm really nervous. <laughs> So the first law I want to talk to you about is the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act. Um, it ensures that all employers treat you equally. It ensures that um, you're able to have reasonable accommodations to allow you to function properly at the job. Um, and it basically, it protects cancer survivors whose illness affects um, your ability to perform the essential functions of your jobs and protects you from discrimination. Another one I want to talk to you about is HIPAA. It's the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, and it prohibits discrimination based on health status, and it also sets limitations on who can look over your health information. Um, so your employer cannot disclose your health information without your personal permission, and the information must be limited to details that are necessary for the other party to know. All right, now for the good stuff, I'm gonna talk about your resume. Um, you, I, I can't stress this enough. You don't have to talk about your, your cancer history on your resume. Um, your employer has no right to ask you about um, if your, your health status, your medical history, anything like that. However, they do have a right to ask you about a gap on your resume. Um, for example, if you weren't working for a year, they can't ask you about that. But you can be tactful in your response. Um, for example, if they ask you, um, why do you have this gap on your resume? You, you have to be truthful, but you can be discreet. So your response could be something like, oh, I had a personal problem, a personal family problem, but that's been resolved. Or I had a medical problem, but that's been resolved. Um, going on to job interviews, I know it's challenging, but as a cancer survivor, you don't have to talk about your medical condition, at least not right away. Um, they don't have a right to ask you about your medical history. They only have the right to know if you're qualified to perform that particular job. Um, Legally, they're not supposed to ask about your health, but if they do, just answer as of that day. So they ask, if they ask you, like, how are you feeling? How's your health? You can, if you're feeling fine that day, if you don't have a cold, you're fine. I'm fine, I'm, I'm doing perfectly all right. Um, and further into discussions, you might need to tell a potential employer that you will need an accommodation in the long run. Um, that discussion can wait until after you get a job offer, so sometime after the interview, before you accept the job. You might need to tell them, like, oh, I'll need um, a day off every three months for, um, like, a, an appointment or something like that, so for follow-up care. Um, but they don't, they can't ask you about what medical condition you have. Um, and at the job interview, you should focus on your ability to perform that job, since that's all the potential employer has a right to know. Focus on being the best job applicant that, they'll, that, they're in a, that they will be interviewing. Um, and I know it'll be hard to disclose your medical history, but you shouldn't feel guilty about withholding that information from them. Um, and if you're the type of person that wants to tell people, I had cancer, I beat cancer, if you're proud of that, if you're confident, then you can tell them. And your, your positive attitude could help you nail that interview. So you could take it either way. So if they, I mean, you could tell them like, oh, I'm perfectly all right. Cancer, like, I don't have a medical problem as of now. Or you can tell them, hey, I beat cancer, and that might help you. Your, your confidence and your tact in that interview might help you nail that job. Um, also, you always have the right to refuse to answer a question, but depend, it's, it depends on how you phrase that. Um, if you seem confrontational, it might show you as being non-cooperative. Um, non um, but you do have the right to refuse to answer questions. Um, so I also wanted to go over discrimination in the workplace. Um, legally, your cancer history can't be used against you at the workplace, but it is difficult to distinguish discrimination because it's very subtle. Um, for example, if someone who's clearly less qualified than you gets promoted at a job, um, you, you might suspect of discrim discrimination. Or if you hear demeaning, degrading comments, you're probably tr being treated unfairly. And if you suspect discrimination, you should probably, you should definitely write it down write when it happened, what happened, uh, take notes of details, and you should probably uh, approach your supervisor with that issue, and if that doesn't mediate the problem, you should talk to your human resources department, 
um, and see if you can resolve that in an informal matter. And if they don't resolve it, then you should you could consider taking legal action, but it's going to be very costly. So hopefully you can deal with it through company policies and through your human resources depart uh, department. Um, and just I just wanted to close up with company policies. You should check with your company's human resources department to see how they handle situations like yours. Um, condition like if you have fatigue or if you have some 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 symptoms something you should see how they dealt with it in the past. Um, they might consider working from home, scheduling part time, using vacation time as sick days, um, or taking a new role or position in the company if you're coming back to work. Um, also, it's important to be aware of your legal rights, but they shouldn't be used as threats against your employer. Um, and you should also just try to work with your work with your supervisors to have a more flexible schedule if that's what you need. And if you need help, don't be afraid to ask your supervisor. It's not a weakness to ask for help. Um, it just shows that you're invested in ensuring the best performance and outcome for that company. Um, so I wanted to end, up, end off with a mock interview, kind of. Um, I'm going to try to ask you a question that you might have at a job interview and see how you would respond to that <coughs> and see if it's kind of something that you need to answer or don't need to answer. Um, so the first question I want you to kind of think about is um, why do you have a, like a gap in your job? in your past jobs. How would some of you answer that? <laughs> that might work. <laughs> um, it might be kind of confrontational though. <laughs> Anything else? Well, there are two ways you could go about that. You could say, I had personal issues, but they're now resolved. Or you could say, hey, I beat cancer, I'm a cancer survivor, but I'm capable of performing this job at this point. Another question you might be asked is, um, if you, if you decide to say, I have personal problems, they might say, that's a pretty long time to take off work. Did you have a medical problem? You don't have to answer that question, but um, you could just tell them, like, I, I had a medical problem. It shouldn't affect my job performance at all. Um, and just there's, there's another handout that you might be able to look at on your own time. And some of the more like, inappropriate questions you might face are, what was the date of your last physical exam? Um, do, do you take any prescription drugs? Do you need an accommodation to perform the job? Um, those are inappropriate questions for job interviews. Just keep that in mind. Just know your legal rights when you go in. Um, oh, um, like one of like three of the questions I just said are: um, Do you take any prescription drugs? Um, when was the date of your last physical exam? And do you need an accommodation to perform the job? The last question I just asked you: Do you need an accommodation to perform the job? They can ask you that question after the job offer has been made, but not during that job interview. So that's something to keep in mind. Yeah. Yeah. So if somebody actually asks them a question before your offer position of the special if you have, if you need any special accommodations, they they're not supposed to ask you that during the job interview. They can ask you that after they offer you a job. How do you respond to that? You can say, at this moment, I don't, but I mean, you can refuse to answer that question, too. So you, you really don't have to answer that question. Um, some, how yeah. do you refuse to, uh, to respond to the question in a diplomatic and systematic way? You can say something like, um, I would rather not answer that question. That's a personal question. <coughs> um, you can just, you know, work around it. You can be polite, but assertive. In Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, um, <laughs> any other questions? Okay. <laughs> if you have any other questions, you can ask me afterwards. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Thanks.